Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's Excel weight tracker for year 2021. First thing I want to do is go over this worksheet here and the layout of it. Up top here, there's a chart which will allow you to visually see your weight throughout the whole year. Over to the right here is what they call slicers, and you're going to be able to zoom in on certain periods of time. If you just want to zoom in in a particular month, you could do that. And down below that is where you're going to enter your data related to your weight. Okay, so let's talk about the columns here. You have the weight column, and that's going to be your actual weight. Then you're going to have your goal weight that you want to reach. There's also a goal low and a high rate, so that you can try to stay within a particular weight range. So the first thing we're going to enter in is our goal weight. And you can adjust these throughout the year if you like. But let's just say that that is 150 pounds. And let's say that our low range is 147 pounds and the high is 153 pounds. Okay, so I'm going to then select these and I'm going to copy these down to the end of the year. Okay, and you can look up to the chart now, and it's going to represent that data that we just entered in. The purple there is our goal weight, 150. And then the orange, we have the low and the high. We kind of want to stay within that range. So what you want to do next is you're going to enter your actual weight for each day of the calendar year 2021. And it's okay if you skip a date also. So let's say that we are currently 180 pounds. And I'll just go ahead and start entering different amounts here just so you can see the chart getting filled in. Okay, so as you go throughout the year, you just enter your weight in on a daily basis. And you can see this color right here. As we enter the data, it's starting to, the chart's starting to get filled in. So I'm just going to take you to one that's completely filled out for the entire year so you can see what the chart looks like. So we started off the year at 180 pounds, and our weight initially went up. You can see that little spike there, but then it started declining. A few times it goes up. It's going to fluctuate on a daily basis. But it looks like we reached our ideal weight range somewhere right around June, July. And you can see for the rest of the year, we stayed within that, pretty much within that range. Okay, so that's the benefit of being able to have that chart is to visually see how you're doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these slicers here to zoom in to particular months. So let's say that we want to look at this time period right here kind of like the middle of the year. So let's look at May, June, July. And that zooms in. You can see here at the bottom the months, May through July. If you just want to look at a single month, let's say December, just click that month. And you can see December 1st through December 31st. If you want to clear the filter of the zooming in on a particular month or months, you just click right up here. And then you can see the entire year. I also want to talk about one thing within this table below here. This X here means that you are not within that ideal weight range goal. But let's scroll down to middle of the year here. And then right around June is when we first, June 17th is when we first hit within the range. Our weight was 153, and you could see that that's within that range. And it will put a green check mark if you are within your ideal rate range that you set. So that's a basic overview of Georgia's Excel Weight Tracker for year 2021.